to the Capital One Orange Bowl tonight. Uh, Those four teams that played yesterday. All right, so here's your opportunity. The Capital One Orange Bowl to, to prove that your case was legit. You've got the makings of a playoff team, dominant defense, quarterback that's been there and done that. One of the best run games in college football. And a coach who's won. Ruggles will be kicking it off for North Carolina. And the Capital One Orange Bowl is underway. This will go through the back of the end zone. Eyes on number 85, Jalen Weidermeyer, a tight end. They're going to run right behind him. And Spiller spins forward for about three. Tamon Fox with the game's first tackle. And let there goes Anaya Smith in motion. Spiller once again just pushes the pile for about three, maybe four more. It will be third down and three. Chase Lane in motion. Here comes a blitz. And a little pop pass over the middle. Incomplete intended for Anaya Smith. So it's a three and out for the Aggies. This is an interesting chess match if Constantino can keep it away from Newsom. And he will force a fair catch here. All the way back inside the 20-yard line. A tailback. Again, no Michael Carter, no Javante Williams. And here's Brooks tripped up behind the line by DeMarvin Leal. And what a season he's had. Tries to squeeze one into his tight end, Garrett Walston. And they'll give him the catch to the 20-yard line. Quick trip to the replay booth, and it was quick. They've already made the announcement. You can see a very clear, incomplete pass for Garrett Walston. So that will now wipe away the four-yard completion and back up North Carolina to their own 16-yard line to make it third down and 12. a and shows a five-man rush. And now flags fly. This will be a false start and back Carolina up even further. False start. Offense, number 68. Five-yard penalty, third down. Those guys are actually capable of executing. And now on third down and 17, it's just a three-man rush. Uh, floats one, and it's going to be intercepted. Andre White into the red zone for Texas A&M. There is a flag down on the far side of the field. Sideline interference, Texas A&M. 15-yard penalty from the end of the run. First down and 10, a &M. So the interceptions tight end stacked to the near side left. The front man is Weidermeyer, and they'll run it and set the spiller. And a good pop on first down, down to the 22-yard line. Spiller again. Inside the 20, down to about the 19-yard line, a yard shy. Spiller has the tailback, and sometimes they'll flip that. And Anaya Smith becomes the lead blocker for Spiller on the dive. And look, that looks to be just good enough for a first down. Spiller shakes and bakes to the 16-yard line. On to throw. On the slant, incomplete, looking for Hezekiah Jones. Play clock under five. Here comes a blitz off the edge. Vaughn throws behind it. Spiller hauls it in. He's dropped by Asante. About a yard shy of the first down, makes it fourth down and one. Spiller breaks a tackle. He's at the five. He's at the go. For the touchdown. <laughs> Seth Small's point after is good. And Texas AM turns the don't make excuses. Let's play for who is playing in this game. I love that message to his team. Caden Davis through the back of the end zone. Now the touchdown's one thing, but third down. Texas A&M offense it equals that touchdown. Here's British Brooks, finds a crease. Good strong run by British Brooks with a flag down out to the 42. During the run, personal foul, face mask. Defense number nine. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. Automatic, first down. Only nine carries this season. Coming into tonight, breaks a tackle in the backfield here, but nowhere to go. 
fights his way back close to the line of scrimmage. He lost a yard. It will certainly help if he gets a run game that looks like the run game the last time he was here in this building. There's a seam shot to Garrett Walston. And there's a first down hookup. Howell to his big tight end. Now it's Josh Henderson in a tailback. He gets an opportunity. He runs a man over. He's down to about the 25-yard line. He picks up five. Again, the lap and about 550 yards rushing between Michael Carter and Javante Williams. Howell out of the pocket. He's going to tuck it under and run. He gets to the sideline. Tripped up inside the 15. Out of bounds at the 12. Daz Newcomb, Daz Newsom circles in motion, but flat. Full start. Offense, number 72. Five-yard penalty, first down. Brooks back in the game. Down to about the 11-yard line. And, Dan, you made the point. Michael Carter runs for over 300. Good job of getting to the second level. If they have that tonight, these backs will get yards. Howell on a keeper. He's got nowhere to go, it looks like. Bottled up next to the sideline and gets walloped. And now it's third down. And a late flag is thrown. After the play, a sportsmanlike conduct. Defense number nine. After this is to the goal, automatic first down. This is number nine's first foul that leads towards disqualification. Sidelines right in front of Mac Brown, so it's probably necessary to be called. Play action. And that pass floated out of bounds. Howell over the head of Chopri Brown. Stadium. Howell on a roll up. Tackled back close to the 10 yard line. Buddy Johnson got him down. An orange bull. And a big play here after the timeout. Third down and goal. Swing pass in the right flat. And getting cut down at the 11 yard line is Josh Downs. Jalen Jones, that's true freshman on true freshman. Hurts out. He's got it. North Carolina on the board for Mac Brown late in the first. I think America saw that yesterday. He should win the Heisman Trophy. Say three decades. I think I just made Desmond Howard really old accidentally. There's Jonathan Kim. Mond off play action. On a rollout. Checks it down to Watermeyer. He's out to the 29 yard line. Picks up about four. Mond on a keeper. Nice little dead leg move out to the edge. Tamon Fox tracks him and brings him down after a gain of a couple. There's defenses with their formations and personnel. Blitz coming on third down. And it works out perfectly. Jacurius Conley is there in the flat to bring down Spiller. And North Carolina gets a third down stop. You need to pass. That's when you can dial up those confusing pressures for North Carolina's defense. Constantino with a wobbly kick up the sideline. Newsom fields it. Breaks a couple of tackles. Daz Newsom to midfield before he's brought down. And some momentum now for the heels. Field position. Very much so into the weeds of football to be a lot of fun. There's British Brooks across midfield. Three and a half on first down. To Marvin Leal gets him around. It's really, Texas AM strength getting the ball outside. They've got to continue to be disciplined with that. Brooks again. Three yard. Bob Shoes and Dan Orlovsky. Katie George bringing you coverage. Location from Sam Howell. And then it's just this closing of the pocket. They rush four, but it's a blitz off the edge. A check down to Josh Henderson. And he is brought down a couple of yards shy of the first down as Buddy Johnson made the stop. That brings now go to Daz Newsom, number five in the slot up top. Quarterback draw. Sam Howell, he's got it. And then some into the secondary. Still on his feet to the 29-yard line before he's brought down by Keldrick Carper. Clock winds quickly. So after the timeout, a handoff to Josh Henderson. He's down inside the 25 to the 24-yard line. That's five yards. Henderson again. Down to the 21-yard line. Picks up three more. That, that's a funny session going for on fourth down. Big third down here. Brooks right up the gut. Gets tripped up, but easily picks up the first down. 
Liano. And they're creating kind of downhill space for their run game. Play action. That is made by Garrett Walston, but he is hit immediately. Leon O'Neill, like light. Fade route. Up against the sideline. And incomplete. Trying to hit Henry Simmons. Down with your progression. He's got at least one catch in every game he's played at North Carolina. They'll run it instead with Josh Henderson. And you're not going to get much against this defense. Third down and ten. And that's basically Atkins from 32. Already one for one tonight. He is now two for two, and it's a one-point game. Best performance. He had some struggles this year, held on to the football a little bit too long, was undecisive. He was outstanding. A clinic last night. I am so excited to watch the coaching chess match and the talent chess match in that game. Ah, long throw to the sideline, wide open, Anaya Smith. Breaking tackles to the 43 of North Carolina before he's brought down by Morrison. There's the Swiss Army knife making an impact for the first time tonight. To the right of Kellen Mond. Picked up 31 yards there. And they'll run the option. Mond keeps it himself. He's got four. Mond, terrific fake. Speed to the edge. A first down and then some. Dragged out of bounds and that'll be 15 more. Trey Morrison is either going to get called for just a late hit out of bounds or possibly a horse collar as he got him up right around the back of the collar of the jersey. During the run, personal foul, horse collar tackle, defense number four. Penalty will be enforced half the distance to the goal line, automatic, first down. To use his legs as a runner. Play action here. Floating one, back corner of the end zone for Anaya Smith. And the flag is out. Tyler McMichael. There's no foul for pass interference. The ball was deemed uncatchable. Him down at 10. Mont, quarterback keeper. Is that a broken play or a designed run, you think, as he dives down to the 11-yard line? Out oh, and popping from this line of scrimmage. Only a three-man rush. Mond out of the pocket. Cuts it back. Down to about the six-yard line. He's brought down. It'll be fourth down and three and a half close to four. Eugene Asante makes this. 25 yards away for Seth Small. He puts it through. Four-point lead again. You are watching the Capital One Orange Bowl. He's hearing how rewarding it was because he knew he helped the kids get here, and that was the most important thing to start this season. It will be minutes to 50 yards or less for a game. 64 so far here in the first half. And here's Brooks again. Not much there. Wrapped up by Jaden Peavy. Bob Dander. At the linebacker position also plays great in space. Play action. Second down and nine. How? Long throw to the sideline, tight window, incomplete for Chaffrey Brown. He was bracketed, and now screen off the perimeter to take advantage of that blitz pressure. And look at the numbers they've got near the line of scrimmage here. Daz Newsom on the wide receiver screen. Beautifully designed by North Carolina. They beat the blitz, and they've got 10 yards at a first down. Play action again. Powell to the sideline. He'll get what he can. Are you surprised that at times tonight, mm -hmm. North... You've got to be a little bit deliberate with how you're going to go about your offensive plan. Play action again. Another deep shot. Incomplete. <laughs> Jaden Peavy jumped. Was he drawn off? He was unabated to the quarterback, so... Rather than give Sam Howell... A free play. They blow it dead. Offside. Defense number 92 with contact. Five-yard penalty. Third down. So this makes it, if you're North Carolina Howell, you see him coordinating their protection, pointing out. Four-man rush. And Newsom makes the catch and breaks a tackle. To the 46-yard line of Texas A&M. 
This is just wait, come back to the football, and then explosive after the catch. Pump fake, and there goes high. Stays on his feet. He's got another Carolina first down. Richardson bumps him out. He picks up 18. Never under the ball's got to come out. Flags down. Shot to the end zone. Bobbled. It's a touchdown. What a catch by Daz Newsom. Damani Richardson is over there pleading the case that it should be an incomplete pass. Antonio Johnson as well. The ruling on the field is a touchdown. Sideline warning, North Carolina. This is their first. It's an incredible ability to have hand-eye coordination. Ball gets tipped, it's up in the air, it's floating. Strained to go make that catch. Looks like he gets his elbows underneath that. After review, the ruling on the field of a touchdown stands. So Daz Newsom, a highlight reel touchdown catch here in the Capital One Orange Bowl. And By Sam Howell and Daz Newsom. So it's a field goal lead for North Carolina. Still plenty of fence. He's doing a really good job tonight of making sure getting the ball out of his hands and not hurting their football team against a really good defense. Jonathan Kim puts it through the... Smelling a weird tasting or <laughs> and weird named cheese. With his cats. Yeah. Look, look at my cheese board. That's nice. Kellen Mond steps up in the pocket and he goes down. It collapses. And it's Tamon Fox that gets the sack. Mond. It's a screen. Spiller with a blocker out in front. Gets to the sideline. It'll be third down and five. Good person. Guy blitzes. You got to give me the hot route. Changing the protection. Eugene Asante is a blitzer. He comes up the middle. Mon floats it over the middle. And it is a contested catch for Chase Lane. What a throw by Kellen Mon with the blitz coming. And pressure right in his face. Watch the right guard. Jared Hawker here. Watch him peel back, okay? You're gonna get the blitz. You're gonna get the blitz off the left edge and watch Hawker. Set, now peel back left. Boom. Get Asante coming through and give him, Kelly Mon, the chance to get that ball down. Mon. He's gonna go down again. This is an offensive line that only allowed four sacks this season. Strong. And it's second down and 18. This time will tuck it under and run. No one in the middle of the field. And he takes advantage and takes a hit. The ball pops out. I think they'll say he was down. And it certainly looked like he was as Asante. The coverage. Knees are down before that ball pops out. He is definitely. Option pitch. Spiller cuts it back. First down and more. Down to the 26-yard line. Tamon Fox made the stop. That's called for the goal of that play. Mon up the seam. Has a cut. Jones inside the five. First and goal, Texas A&M. He's all the way down to the three-yard line. You've got plenty of time. You're patient. You're patient at the line of scrimmage. They'll give it a spiller. And he'll run into the end zone with a Texas A&M touchdown. Second rushing touchdown of the night for Isaiah Spiller. By Texas A&M to get his touchdown late in the first half. An eight-play, 75-yard touchdown drive. Hey, call. what's your thought process is? Uh, I, I get my play. I get to the line of scrimmage. What's the defensive front? Okay, I know the front. What do they like to this offense? There's always an, an opportunity against the play, and there's always a problem. And he gives him the answer for both. Draw play for British Brooks, and he is met by Bobby Brown, and that should take us to halftime. It's funny, when I said Malcolm Gladwell book, you looked at me weird, kind of implying that you don't think I can read or choose not to. It took me by surprise, I have to admit. That was a curveball. 17-13, A&M with the lead. Capital One Orange Bowl. After the break. It's 
to the style that they want into the fourth quarter, and then this game's going to be about a playmaker in the fourth quarter. Let's head down to Katie. Well, guys, Jimbo Fisher is pleased with this team's first half performance. He said, look, we scored on three out of five drives. He said it took us a little bit to find our rhythm. He said when Kellen Mond started running the football and using his legs, it really opened things up. But he said UNC is bringing pressure on almost every single drive. We did not expect that, but we're doing a better job picking that up. We have to protect the quarterback moving forward in this second half. Thanks. British Brooks to start the second half. And he heard us for about three. Now, a couple years ago, called doing on your first drive and you better have an answer on your second drive here's the end around to daz newsom he gets bottled up along the sideline and picks up a couple so you go in how well protected long throw through the hands of daz newsom he could not quite climb the ladder he was wide open and that And Kierden, rugby style kick. Anaya Smith wants to try a return. Makes the first man miss. And now gets bottled up. The bot got the bottle of rose ready for after the game. Here's play action for Kellen Mond on first down. He's out of the pocket, flag down. He's got plenty of room to run, but this one might be coming back. Slides into plus territory. But it looks like they meet they there may be a holding call in the offensive backfield. Now Raymond Bahosa jumped up and knew he had drawn a penalty. During the run, holding. Offense number 65. 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. Seen Kellen Mond have opportunity to break away with his legs. North Carolina better get that figured out in an answer for him running when they get coverage on their back end. That's a really good run by Isaiah Spiller. That could have been a tackle for a loss. It's in your pass game if you want it. It's a four-man rush. Mott tried to drop it into Chase Lane, and it went right through his hands. I think Chase with your eyes and decision-making, Kellen Mott. And Mott takes the check down. And they just buy a little bit of real estate for the punt group. That's just a senior quarterback. Play another possession. Constantino just gets it away. And Daz Newsom will let this one bounce along the sideline. And it will be noted for him for the Heisman. I don't think I'm allowed to like reveal my vote, but I'll, if I blink twice, I voted for him. Ripping one over the middle to Chaffrey Brown is Sam Howe. A chunk play to start this drive for North Carolina. He beat Brian George, picked up 26. Quarterback run. Out, nowhere to go. He is thrown down by McKinley Jackson. That's a true freshman. He was the number one player in Mississippi last year. Mississippi Mr. Football. And boy, he's playing behind. Uh, kind of a space eater, but all space eater, but also moves well. Al steps up, avoids a sack, wants to take a shot. Off the fingertips of Antoine Green. He got tied up with Brian George. And third down and ten. Four-man rush. Out to the sideline to Chaffrey Brown. Diami's little brother has a first down catch on third down and ten. Another play action fake. This one over the middle. To Garrett Walston. He's down. Henderson Very close to the first down ways can you get him the ball one-on-one -on -one matchups he's in the right slot how looks the other way he's going to the goal line for Wilson and it's broken up that that is just a fantastic play by Jalen Jones he's playing outside corner and he's got vision on Sam Howell and just sees Walston release watch him on the outside corner top left now Claps inside, that right hand gets that ball away. That's a big time play by the true freshman. Really good feel. And the man across the board. Out, out of the pocket. This is a stiff arm, can't get away. Andre. 
They might be getting a free play here. Might be too many men on the field for a Powell's going to look to the end zone, and it's intercepted, but this will probably all be coming back. Brian George gets the pick, but it looked like the pace of North Carolina trapped an extra player for Texas A&M. The legal substitution defense had 12 on the field, did not get up the field in time. Five-yard penalty, third down. Watch the communication now. Watch Young. You see a guy run off. This is Young trying to run off right there. That's going to be aggressive and go for it. That's Josh Downs, a wide receiver in the backfield. Al looks his way on the wheel route. He's wide open for the touchdown. Who needs four down territory when you score the touchdown on third down? Line up over. Then third and four, you're thinking man coverage. When you get downs on that matchup, what an outs. It's man to man, do your job. Picks, rubs, meshes. Look at the pick route right here. Nassim's, Newsom's gonna do a great job of getting in the way. The rail route comes free. Eric Young gets hung up for just a second. And there's that touchdown for North Carolina's offense. And Bob, you asked the great question, well, why is that not? Offensive pass interference. It's because Daz Newsom doesn't give intent of setting the pick. I'm running my route. Defender, if you get in my way, that's on you. And a little bit of a different spin, so we're super excited and fortunate for that opportunity to do that. Mon with an empty backfield. Tries to squeeze one into Hezekiah Jones and can't do it. Broken up by the freshman Tony Grimes. One high. I got to run to the right leverage or get the ball out of my hands. There's a handoff to Devon Aiche, and he is a speedster, a track star that blasts up the middle for seven yards. That makes it like he's been snapping it the whole game. Here comes a blitz off the edge. Tony Grimes after the quarterback, and he trips up Kellen Mond. Speed from the true freshman, and he gets Mond down for a one-yard loss. Is that pressure again in the offense isn't trusting what they're seeing. Jay Bateman is kind of winning right now that cat and mouse game when it comes to play calling. Daz Newsom, the fair catch just inside the 25 yard line. British Brooks looking for a cutback lane and finding one. He's got six yards out to the 30. Wide receiver screen, Antoine Green, net immediately. Leon O'Neal, communicate with Sam Howell with the play clock winding down. Here comes a blitz. Sam Howell out of the pocket. He's going to try and run for it with a step on dodge for the line to gain. And it looks like they'll mark him out a couple of yards shot. Buddy Johnson tracked him to the sideline. Once again, the speed to go track him down. Kiernan, line drive kick. Perfect coverage. Nowhere to go. Close to the football. Mond hands one to Spiller, and he turns the corner with a stiff arm. There's the speed of Eugene Asante to run him out. And He's playing instinctual. That's been a big part of his game tonight. H.A. He breaks a couple of tackles and weaves his way for a first down. Nice run by the true freshman. Put over on the defensive side as a senior. He said everybody was like, wow. And he's been a defensive player ever since. Mon trying to find Weidermeyer, who has been quiet tonight. He only has one catch for four yards. Guys, this is something that I should get to. What do I do with the football now when I change this play? They swing it out to Anaya Smith. With a cut back to midfield. He is dangerous when he gets it in the open field and they find so many different ways to get it to him. Sees that nickel back tucked in. And I Smith, this is an easy throw. The extension of the run game. Ball out to the perimeter. Game in the pistol. Has the tailback. And we'll give it to him. Nice little dead leg move with a flag down. He got to the perimeter. During the run, holding, offense, number 46. 10-yard penalty from the previous spot, 
first down. That's Ryan Rennick, the tight end. You get a six explosive. I can play first and 10 ball. I can't play first and 20 if I'm unexplosive or inexplosive as an offense. Well, you can if you get it to A chain in the open field. That got the penalty yardage back and then some. Gimmel made the stop. Getting a little push at the line of scrimmage. A chain. That's the tackle of Asante. And maybe picked up a half yard. Now it's third down and a long four. Right slot, Anaya Smith in the left slot. And a jump in the neutral zone. On third down and five. Offside. Defense, number 10. Causing the offensive tackle to move. Five yard penalty, third down. That's Desmond Evans, a true freshman. By penalty, Texas A&M gets a first down. Backfield, he's to the top of the screen. Mon looks over the middle instead. Now he comes back to the left to Anaya Smith. Lasso down. One on one tackle by Kyler McMichael. Swing pass to Anaya Smith. He's got speed as well into the red zone. That's a big play with an extra. The flag thrown. It looks like a face masking call might go against Kyler McMichael to end the third quarter. On Anaya Smith. Personal foul. Force color tackle. It is. Defense number one. That penalty will be enforced half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. We will extend the third quarter for one play. In the backfield. The challenge for the defense. Who's who? It's H.A. Down to the five yard line to end the quarter. Second down and goal for Texas a and False start. And that little jump to the left, the shift of that defensive line for Carolina. And maybe someone up front for Texas A&M flinched. False start. Offense, number 54. Five-yard penalty. Second down. Gun for Mon with an empty backfield. Second and goal now from the 10. He's going to tuck it under and run. Toughness down to the five. So he gets back the penalty yardage. Now it's third down and goal. Asun and clock down to three. Mont flips it in the back of the end zone for Watermeyer, and it's incomplete. Fourth and goal at the five. Chip shot for Seth Small. We are tied early in the fourth quarter at the Capital One Orange Bowl. Heisman I guess I'd have to have a vote to know. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. Time, Say to me, he's the best wide receiver I've ever seen, which is big words. Howl out of the pocket. Looking downfield. Unloads one for Downs. Drops it in. Josh Downs. Painter. Carolina back on top. on a huge stage and his athleticism his talent kind of shows up it's a great job and Katie George and with the kickoff and this will be a touchback this is what's called passing it off outstanding job collapse and Sam Howell get outside the pocket I love this from Sam Howell look he's got the vision to point he sends downs you go take your shot right there Trailing defenders don't see me. I'm going to put this ball out to space. Secure that catch. And Sam Howell saying, this is the time. Take it. Now can Kellen Mond respond? He's looking downfield. He's going to shoot one of the sideline and overshoots Hezekiah Jones. And that kind of creates some offense. We've seen it a lot tonight, obviously, in the touchdown to Downs. Mond to Anaya Smith for about five yards. A big press man. Third down and foul. Mon bullets one over the middle. A very tight window. And Hezekiah Jones has it for the first down. You've got to take your shot down field. 
Braun with all day to throw. Wide open, Anaya Smith. He drops it in. Anaya Smith with a cutback. Still on his feet. Down to the six yard line. It's a goal to go for the Aggies. This is a beautiful job of play action. This is taking your shot. Watch the offensive line secure Kellerman. Now watch. Pop. That Anaya Smith route right from that right side of that screen. Sell on that crosser. And then snap it back outside. Conley just no back once again. He takes the handoff. He just pushed the pile down inside the five to about the two and a half. Hagen Baldry in in front of A.J. Chain is waffled at the line of scrimmage by the Hustle. Across the board. I'm looking for number zero. Mond out of the pocket. He'll tuck it under. And he'll get to the pylon. And Texas A&M is a point after away from a top. Three touchdowns responsible for in the career of Kellen Mond. Tied for first in Texas A&M history with Johnny Manziel. Seth Small puts it through and we're tied with just over 10 minutes to go. Programs, programs that are very much so on the rise. Playmakers are making plays. Got a great 10 minutes left. All right, Carolina. 27-27 time. Play action for Sam Howe. Steps up in the pocket. He wants another deep shot for Joffrey Brown. And it's right through his hands. That looked like another perfect throw from Sam Howe. Him to make the play if I have to go to him again. Let's off the edge. Howe has it knocked down. Antonio Johnson came. On that nickel corner blitz and got the pass deflected. Third down and two. Communicate great and then find a one-on-one. -on -one. It's another blitz coming. Daz Newsom on the wide receiver screen. He's bottled up. He's thrown down. And it's going to be a three and out for North Carolina. Andre White made the stop. On the field. And over end kick. Anaya Smith lets it bounce. Takes a Carolina roll out of bounds inside the AM 30. They'll mark it out. Half yeah, still over on the sideline. A chain the tail back to the left of Mom. Play action. Ellen Mom under pressure. Forces one to the sideline looking for Watermeyer. Just because there's always a defender lurking. A chain tries to get outside. It's a cutback crease. And he picks up four yards. Scrimmage. Here comes that blitz. Gets picked up. Bond over the middle. Into traffic. And Tony Grimes almost had a pick. Hezekiah Jones. Constantino with a wobbly kick to the sideline. It goes out of bounds. This will be good field position for North Carolina with eight minutes to go. Normally, when it is money time, Sam Howell shows up in the fourth quarter. He's going to give one to British Brooks here. Brooks turns the corner and picks up about five. This is the first time North Carolina. Out off play action. He's going to look deep again for Daz Newsom. Just off his fingertips. Flag down in the offensive backfield. And they're helping Howell up. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense, number five, putting his body weight on the quarterback. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot, automatic, first down. So Bobby Brown lands on Sam Howell on the rush, and it costs A&M 15 yards. I'm not sure what he's supposed to do. Listen, it's a big hit by DeMarvin Leal. I'm an ex-quarterback. I hate that call. It's a good hit. 
Well, it's the call bad. wasn't the call on wasn't Leal, on right. Leal for the hit. The call was on Bobby Brown for landing on the quarterback, but he's engaged with a blocker. Exactly. I'm not sure what he's supposed to do. That's an almost impossible penalty to avoid. A wide receiver screen to Josh Downs, and he is met. Amani Richardson comes up and gets a tackle for loss on their defense tonight. They wanted the trick play. It wasn't there. British Brooks cuts it back. British Brooks was going to look for Daz Newsom. And he was going to try to flip it to Daz Newsom on the reverse. That's the center, Brian Anderson, pointing out. Powell pumps once under pressure. Now he's going down. McKinley Jackson. Jeremiah Martin. They were both there all over Sam Howe. In Texas A&M deep. It's a rugby style kick. And he is buying plenty of time before he pooches it. And Anaya Smith with a fair catch at the 13 yard line. The senior quarterback back to work. And he gives it to the true freshman running back. H.A. picks up a couple on the dive forward. Here comes a blitz. They'll swing it out to H.A. Speed to the sideline. Very close to a first down. He's got it. H.A. blockers out in front. Kept his balance. Gets down the sideline. The sprinter in the open field, and no one's going to catch him. Touchdown. Dan, we have been talking all night about opportunity for the players on the North Carolina side with opt-outs and young players getting a chance to play. How about a true freshman running back in the absence of mm. Isaiah Spiller gets his opportunity. And boy, what did he just do with it? I love the, the contact balance, the speed, but it doesn't happen by himself. Okay, Weidermeyer is going to come around and seal on Asante. That's the first part of this play. It's a great job by this tight end. Awesome block. Now look at Anaya Smith blocking downfield. This is going to be great by A-Chain, the contact balance. Watch zero. You don't think this game matters to him right there? Blocking downfield to give him the ability to hit that home run. Really good job of Weidermeyer wrapping around, making that block. Anaya Smith blocking downfield. He's done everything tonight. And then you see the absolute home run speed by A-Chain. And there's an assistant coach that recognizes how important that block was. There are as many pats on the back over on that AM sideline for the blocks yep. as they are for the touchdown run. But there's a lot of time still on the clock for Mr. Fourth Quarter. Sam Howell about to get the football back. He's got 344 to go. If it was incorrect, each team does have their timeouts left. So a lot can happen in this last 344. They'll start with British Brooks. And a good run to begin for Brooks. He's out of bounds. Out off play action. Floats one of the sideline through the hands of Brooks. It'll be third down and one. We certainly lost a side of it. There have been a lot of close losses. And here's Brooks, third down and short. He doesn't get there. Three minutes to go. It'll be fourth down and two, and now the decision for Mac Brown to go for it or to punt and use your timeouts. You got to punt this, right? It's fourth down and about a yard and a half. I mean, the only way you're going for this is if, in your preparation, there's a call that you absolutely love in fourth and two situations. Zone read, quarterback run. Newsome in motion. Spinning. Very close. Did Henderson get there? It looks like he's short. 
He will be marked down short. Texas A&M is about to take over on downs with 2.24 to go. So watch him scrape face, get bounced off, and that forces Henderson to have, kind of change his path. Finished by AM's defense. And he's well short of the line to gain. They're going to run the chains out, but this is a formality. And where they put the football down, he's a yard short. This was not very close. And Texas AM has the football with 2.24 to go. Chain bounces it outside. Gets to the sideline. And that should be good for a first down. You see two on the clock. Kellen Mond knows that. Hey Chain. Another crease. Breaking tackles. Down to the one yard line. Kind of just taken over. Watch the left side. Pass off. That's a great job again by Anaya Smith coming down on that safety. It's incredible effort by Cameron Kelly to sell out and make this tackle. But you talk about one of the best offensive lines in college football, kind of taking this game. Run it with the chain, and he is in for the touchdown. Standing fourth quarter, stepping in for Isaiah Spiller. It's a 14-point lead. From capping off an incredible season and capping off an incredible career for your quarterback. Sam Howell to Garrett Walston. If, if you're North Carolina right now and Sam Howell, the, this is when the ball's got to go in harm's way. You're going to have to try to create some chunks real quickly. If you catch the ball and you're near the out of bounds, you get out of bounds. Don't try and get extra yardage. Over the middle, it's Josh Downs. And with the first down, that will stop the clock for the moment. You gotta cra play with crazy tempo. If you catch the ball inside the numbers, get yardage. Outside the numbers, get out of bounds. The clock is huge right now. He's out of the pocket. That's one of the sideline incomplete. Three-man rush. How he will be sacked. Tyree Johnson throws him down. And that forces North Carolina to use timeout number two. In the fourth quarter. So needing two touchdowns with only one timeout left. Now extending the play. Somehow stays on his feet. Tyree Johnson couldn't bring him down at first. Now he gets another opportunity along with Andre White. And it's another Texas A&M sack. Resume. Al over the middle. Pass Musa brought down well shot of the line to game. That is a turnover on downs. And it will be victory formation for Texas A&M. Week. And the natural question, Katie George talked to him about it as well. How is your team going to respond? Mm -hmm. You were bitterly disappointed to be left just on the outside looking in in that five spot. And he didn't have any concern that his team wasn't going to come out and be ready to play tonight. And they certainly answered that call as they are champions of the Capital One Orange Bowl. I love that shot of Kelly Mond. Look at Jimbo. Trying to stay away. He's going to stay dry. Well, speed. He did. He turned on, got an extra gear to make sure he didn't end up under the Gatorade bath. <laughs> trying to be respectful to Mac. That's good. Well, these are two coaches that have a genuine affection for each other. You could tell when they talk to each other and about each other, they are both on each other's favorite list. I'd say my favorite list. I mean, look at this embrace, man. This is good stuff. This is th this is what that coach, mentor, look at the emotion that they're both sharing. Remember, Jimbo comes there, and Kellen's a highly recruited guy, takes him on this journey. 
the work that's been put together. You know, Kellen Mond has accepted an invitation to go to the Senior Bowl. Mm -hmm. But there is an extra year of eligibility next year for any player that wants it. He didn't totally close the door on the idea that he might come back. Imagine if this group all came back and ran it back again. It'd be a problem. They would be a big problem. 41-27 <laughs> is your final. Texas A&M wins the Capital One Orange Bowl. Stay tuned. The trophy ceremony here at the Capital One Orange Bowl is coming up. But right now, it's time for Sports Center with Scott Van Pelt. We'll be back with more coverage soon. SVP. Bob, thank you.